Hezbollah member over the 2005 assassination of Lebanon's then Prime Minister Rafiq Hariri. But it says there's no sufficient evidence that the militant group's leadership or the Syrian government were involved. The verdict by a panel of judges in the Netherlands comes after a six-year-long trial. Salim Ayash was found guilty in absentia on five charges linked to the suicide bombing, which killed 22 people and injured 226 others. Three other Hezbollah members were acquitted. Saad Hariri, Rafiq's son, who himself is a former prime minister, said questions still remain after the judgment. Everybody's expectation was much higher than what came out, but I believe that the tribunal came out with a, with a result that is satisfying. We accept it, and uh, we believe that uh, there are still a lot of issues unknown that if are, they are known and they are discovered will only, uh, will only strengthen, strengthen what this international tribunal uh, judgment that came out today. Let's cross over to Beirut where we can speak to our reporter Carol Malouf. Carol Saad Hariri says the family accept the findings of this tribunal, but they still want to see justice done. Will that even be possible, though? Well, Oliver, you see, the mandate of this uh, special tribunal for Lebanon was very specific. The prosecutors presented their case with the evidence that they had collected. Uh, and they had uh, accused four uh, people of being uh, the perpetrators of this attack. So the mandate was limited into looking into the evidence and trying to find out if those four accused were responsible for the attack and in what ways. Now, what came out as a result of this uh, tribunal was that they found that Salim Ayash, a Hezbollah operative, was uh, uh, charged on the five uh, verdicts that, uh, they, that he was accused of. However, People, on the other hand, had very different expectations from this court. People yes. believe that this court will come out and tell them who planned the attack, who funded the attack, who pulled the trigger. You know, they wanted a lot of answers. And most of the time, the judges throughout the day were saying that there was a lot that a lot of evidence was lacking to try to find out what happened exactly. So people are left without answers. However, having said that, what is very important at this point is that this is the first time in the history of Lebanon with hundreds of political assassinations that have taken place. This is the first time that we actually have a court that comes out with an indictment, that we have a, a face and the name to the person accused of that uh, political assassination. So this is a first, as uh, Prime Minister Hariri has said. So this is unprecedented, historical in, in some way to them. However, to the people, it's not enough. It comes a bit disappointing. And people wanted to know more. But I'm, I'm not sure that this tribunal and its current mandate will be able to deliver those answers to the people. Karim Malouf, joining us there from the Lebanese capital. Thanks very much. A tenth day of mass protest.